I'm Tom Kenny, and I am the voice of SpongeBob SquarePants. Tom Kenny has voiced SpongeBob SquarePants for all 20 years it's been on TV. Every little sound, every little. What has made the cartoon so popular? I feel like SpongeBob is eternally relevant because of his optimism. I'm Ethan Slater, and I play SpongeBob in SpongeBob the Musical. More than a year after the musical version starring your favorite yellow sponge closed on Broadway, the show is getting new legs on television. And we're gonna reach like a whole new audience. Live on stage. It feels really special. The Broadway musical is airing on Nickelodeon. The plot? It's kind of SpongeBob meets the end of the world there's a giant volcano and is it going to go off, is it not? Making a special cameo in the show, Tom Kenny. He's playing Patchy the Pirate. <laughs> not bad for a creature with no vertebrae. I have the best job in show business. I, w I wouldn't trade places with the biggest movie star. Tom took us on a tour of Nickelodeon Studios in Burbank, California. We did a stop motion Halloween episode, and this is the uh, this is the Krusty Krab. Uh, this was the Krusty Krab as it appeared in the show. This is Nickelodeon Studio C. All here. This is where the uh, this is where the magic happens. Right in here. For the last 20 years. Tom has been an integral part of the SpongeBob franchise. They're all here in this memory book. These days, he also serves as the voice director of the show. Sometimes I voice direct from this side. Sometimes I voice direct from in here at my microphone. I'm always here, and uh, that way I have this bookshelf to put all my stuff on. You know, your keys, your wallet, and all the stuff that I forget when the when the session's over. The story of how Tom became the voice of SpongeBob is a special one. I had worked with Steve Hillenburg on Rocco's Modern Life, which was an early 90s Nicktoon. Rocco's Modern Life. He and I just clicked, so after Rocco ended and Steve had this weird little idea about a sponge that works in a fast food restaurant, he thought of me and asked me if I would be interested in voicing the lead character. He showed me the stuff, the material, and said, gonna pitch this to Nickelodeon, what do you think? And I just, I, I loved it. I responded to it immediately and told him right then and there, if anybody else plays this character, if I turn on my TV and the person that's not me is doing the voice, I'll be sad for the rest of my life. I remember when Steve first showed me, uh, on that first day he took SpongeBob out of his desk for me, uh, he showed me like a watercolor painting that he had done of SpongeBob's a pineapple house and it was just so whimsical and, and fun and not like anything I'd ever seen before. SpongeBob, SpongeBob premiered in May of 1999 and fandom for the cartoon exploded. SpongeBob Stretch Pants toys are here. Stretch Pants. That's right, there's a nifty nautical SpongeBob notepad. My SpongeBob tonight, Mine's the there. Viewed from Lego SpongeBob, each set sold separately. Now, two decades later, while many of the show's original viewers have grown up, demand for SpongeBob is hot as ever. SpongeBob's never gone away. The world's best known underwater sea sponge, SpongeBob SquarePants. There's the SpongeBob SquarePants float at the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. It first premiered in 2004 and has been in and out of the parade over the years. Check out these special edition SpongeBob sneakers. I'm here today at Inside Edition because we're checking out the brand new SpongeBob Nike Kyrie Fives. He's got five different sneakers that released in this theme. They all are themed after one of the SpongeBob characters. He's got a Patrick Star and a Squidward, and then he's also got the Kyrie Low 2 in the Sandy Cheeks and the Mr. Krabs colorway. You got money, right? Let's not forget SpongeBob's appearance on the Super Bowl halftime show. And now, a true musical genius who needs no introduction. <laughs> More than a million fans signed a petition to make the SpongeBob SquarePants rendition of Sweet Victory part of the performance. And it worked. 
The SpongeBob clip came right after Maroon 5 and introduced rapper Travis Scott. And there's also an interactive SpongeBob pop-up experience store in Los Angeles. It's the fact that it's the most bizarre, stupid, ridiculous show on TV. The fact that the lead character is a yellow sponge. It's so ridiculous that it's and hilarious still after 20 years that I think people just love it. Gavin Lee plays Squidward in the musical adaptation. It's just such a brilliant, bizarre, ridiculous cartoon that you can just sit down, veg out on the sofa and watch it. And, and that's why Nickelodeon wanted to expand into other genres because there's something about it that's just so wacky and fun and cool. Let's all sing. One major reason SpongeBob remains so popular? Everyone's unanimous. I think that SpongeBob is so relevant because he is optimistic. He's also hilarious. If only I could join you there. I think what people can learn from SpongeBob and what I learned from SpongeBob is to approach life with energy and optimism and just 110% effort. The way that he's able to see the world as its best self, no matter the circumstances. And SpongeBob will begin his third decade with a new movie called The SpongeBob Movie, Sponge on the Run. The 3D live action film stars Tom Kenny and all the other familiar voices. Have you seen Gary? No. Nope. Nope. Plus Snoop Dogg, Keanu Reeves, and Aquafina voice characters as well. Hello. There's just so much love for the for SpongeBob in general, uh, and on the 20th anniversary too. The legacy of SpongeBob's creator Steven Hillenburg lives on. With Steve Hillenburg passing, it's just there's just so many things and so much love for the the product. Steve allowing me to channel that character that he created it has made me a more uh, positive uh, person. Making people more positive thanks to a clever cartoon celebrating a 20-year milestone. Quick, Patrick, without thinking. If you could have anything in the world right now, what would it be? More time for thinking. I'm Lee Sheps for InsideEdition.com.